Welcome back to the Daily News Network, and this is Legacy of Leaders. I'm Jack Sears, your host, and joining me today co-hosting is our leadership director at Client Focused Media, John Heyman. When we get together, we visit with interesting, dynamic, innovative leaders of business and industry, and today, we're gonna hit it out of the park because we are talking about leadership with Dr. Joe Saviak with Saviak Consulting. Welcome to the show, Joe. It's wonderful to be with you. Yeah, great. Thank you, Dr. Saviak, for being here today. Tell us a little bit about your background and then we wanna get right into the subject of leadership. So I have a consulting firm that helps organizations statewide optimize their performance. Mm -hmm. I've been a college professor, a senior administrator, author, researcher, and uh, it, it's all about aiding others in achieving success. Mm. Excellent, fantastic. All right, let's get into leadership right, right away. A lot of people think they're not prone to leadership because they think they have to be born a leader. What do you think about that concept? It's an excellent question. It's not charisma, it's, uh, it's not uh, genetics, it's not your resume, it's not your credentials, it's not your tenure with the organization. Um, it is sim it's, it's simply the ability to learn what we know works in leadership and avoid what doesn't. And we have a high degree of consensus in leadership as to what is successful and what is not successful. So, people are managers, people are leaders. Tell me the difference. You know, we used to make a major distinction between the two and say, you know, leaders set, you know, vision, mission, culture, team, uh, and then managers really operationalize all that and they translate objectives into outcomes. But really you have to be, a, 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 you have to be an effective leader whether you're a frontline supervisor, middle manager, or you're the CEO. And so I, I, I kind of de-emphasize that distinction, although it is real. Uh, there is a difference between being a frontline supervisor and being the CEO. But I think it's important that everyone in the organization learns about leadership and that you have a culture of leadership development. I, I was listening to somebody correlate the difference or actually the, the, uh, the sameness of parenting to leadership, where a parent will have a vision for their children, uh, they'll learn, you know, they'll teach discipline, character, culture, things like that. Uh, have you thought about that at all? concept of parenting and leadership. I, I, I think that's a useful analogy. Uh, the, the word I use is coach in, in, in my classes, mm -hmm. and that you're coaching. You're, you're, you're spending a lot of your day in leadership developing others and pouring yourself into others and ensuring they have the skills and subjects and they learn how to analyze and think and decide like leaders. And you're helping them identify their strengths to retain and optimize and you're also helping them to identify areas for improvement and then you're supplying them with the coaching tools and resources to make those improvements. Mm -hmm. So I like to think of a leader as a coach. What, uh, you know, that's a great analogy, especially as we're in this time of the year when we're talking football and coaching. <laughs> what, uh, what are the salient qualities that you think make a great leader and then what are the qualities that you gotta say, whoa, look out, where's the stop sign? I'm with General Colin Powell. It all comes down to trust. Uh, it is integrity mm. and character. It's not charisma. You don't have to be the brightest person. You don't have to have the longest resume. Uh, you don't have to have the most years with the organization. But people have to trust you. They have to, um, and they have to trust each other. So the, the five major predictors of organizational performance are leadership, mission, culture, team, uh, alignment, and um, is vision in there somewhere? Or did you yes. already mention? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and if you have the if if you have the right leadership, mission, culture, alignment, vision, uh, you are going to succeed as an organization. That That's is that is great food for thought, uh, mm -hmm. and what a great wrap up to our time that we have today. So so how would our listening audience learn more about you and how to connect with you and learn more about what you offer? Please feel free to visit my website at www.drjoesaviak.com, drjoesaviak.com, no period after the doctor. Please visit my website, and there's plenty of opportunities to contact me. I'd love to help your organizations because I love it. I love helping other people win. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can tell firsthand, you've got mm -hmm. the passion to win. Mm -hmm. So great, well thank you for joining us today. So. Thank you very much. 
Well, that's it, folks. That's the time we have today here at the Daily News Network for this edition of Legacy of Leaders. If you'd like to learn more about Dr. Saviak, his firm, and, and about a lot of other interesting things that are happening in our community, be sure to visit us at thedailynewsnetwork.com. Until we get together next time, on behalf of John Heyman and myself, take care, stay healthy, treat each other the way you'd like to be treated. Have a great day. Thank you.